Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Winston's Master Go Round Table, episode number 29, I believe. Call. I do not remember what number this is. I just know it's a, it's a number. Uh, and ten pi if, if has I can been find out. It time. And ten pi has been out for a week. Call. Less than a week. Less than a week. Less than a week. Less than a week. Uh, Less than I a week. am officially a Mojang bastard. I hate Synchro Dex still, but Mojang. I find this. I hate. I, I'm your average. Yes. I, I'm your. I am a, um, um, Mojang fucker. But I will say that I find this strategy to be enter. more. I I find this more strategy more enjoyable than Snake Eye, to say the least. But hmm. moving on, we uh we have some news. Obviously the uh. Uh, uh, Tricolor Festival is out. Char will, will be going into that more in his new segment. And uh, oh. I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. Char, the floor is yours. Take it away. Share your screen. What am I supposed to be sharing? I don't know. Like any like Ooh. anything anything you want to talk about? I guess I don't know. I ain't got no leaks on the Master Duel side, but we have Orcus support coming. I saw. Ooh. Just Archetype link, link one. Finally. Yeah. Yay. So, yeah. Link summon Galatea, the Orcus Automaton, once per turn. Can't be used as material for XC summon. You can summon one card from your hand to the graveyard. Add a Royal Legacy Monster or an Orchestrated Babble from your deck or graveyard to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, you can banish another or cussy card from your graveyard and special summon the card. You can only use each effect once per turn. Then we have the Orcus Mech Knight and, and Lil, Lil Girsu. Uh, two Lil monsters, Girsu. including an Orcus or Cussy Link monster. You can target one of your Banished or Cussies or Ward Legacy cards and add it to your hand. Then you can start shuffle one card from your hand into your deck and take control of one face up monster your opponent controls. During the main phase, if this card is in your graveyard because it was sent there from the extra monsters on this turn, you can banish it, send one card down the field to the graveyard. You can only use each effect of Lil Girsu, the Orcus and Mech Knight, once per turn. Yeah, seems legit. Yep. And then we have Gem Knights. I was so Gem excited. Gem I, th I, I thought when I saw the card art that I was, we were getting should all support. I will. Yeah, Gem Knights are getting support. Anyways, you can only use the first, second, third effect of, each, of this card's name once per turn. This card's name is Gem Knight Nephirum. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add its Gem Knight card from your deck to your hand, except for Nephirum. Also, any effect damage your opponent takes the rest of this turn is halved. No, you cannot FTK. Unless you're good. Second, you're during your main phase, you have to have this effect resolved, you can normal summon a Gem Monster. If this card is sent from hand or deck to graveyard, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon this card. Hmm. Neat. I mean, it's alright. Like... We have Gem Knight Void Roots. And then you, you can only use the, the first effect of this card's name once per turn. You can send one Gem Knight Mono Monster or Fusion from your deck to the graveyard and special summon this card from your hand, hand in defense mode. Then if your opponent activates a card or effect while you control a Gem Knight Fusion Monster, you can banish three Gem Knights from your graveyard, including this card. That's neat. Negate that effect, and then all Gem Knight Monsters you control gain a thousand attack. Makes sense. Well, it's a free, that's a nominee gate that you want in your graveyard. Like Rika, uh, Princess. Now, we have a new fusion. Gem Knight Master Diamond Dispersion. Okay. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, use a Master Diamond one. Retrain. Yep. You can only use the first and second effect of each card, this card's name once per turn. During the main phase, quick effect, you can send this card to the graveyard, special summon up to three non-rock gem monsters. From different names, from your extra deck and or graveyard, ignoring their summoning positions. Uh, also, you cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except fusion monsters. Makes sense. When your Gem Knight fusion monster is destroyed by Bal, while this card is in your graveyard, special summon this card. Hmm. A mandatory special summon? Or is it you can't 
Uh, I coughed. Gem uh, dispersion. See. You want you can activate one of these effects, but one of these effects, and you can only use uh, each of those effects once per turn. So you can activate this card twice. First effect, fusion summon the Gemite Fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or, and, or field as material. If you have Gemite Fusion in your graveyard, you can also use two non-rock Gemite monsters from your deck or extra deck. Hmm. Hello, Red Eyes Fusion Mark II. Add one gem monster from your deck or banishment to your ha hand. Also, any effect damage your opponent takes during the main phase is halved. Seems legit. I mean, those are some uh, solid cards to support Gem Knight, but I'm gonna be so for real. I don't know. It, like, like sort of like like you attack your opponent directly with a Gem Knight monster, you win the game type shit. It feels like the only thing that will like like Gem Knights are such like a scuff strategy in world, like I don't know what you could give them, sort of to bring them back to the forefront. Person. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. You can go. go. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Now we have the Azamina cards. Yippee. Because that archetype needed more support. Queen of Azamina. This card is treated as a sinful spoils card. You can only use the first or second effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, banish from your field or hand by activate card or effect. You can special summon it. When your Azamina or white forest monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can target a simple spoil spell or trap in your graveyard and add it to your hand. The second effect is doo doo. The first effect is good. Makes sense. Send it for cost for Diabell Star Boom. Free level 8 Xyz monster. R really? But must be a Bell Star 7. I'm a fucking crackhead. Anyway. Snake Eyes Seems and Damn, dra damn I Dragon. Mean from, I, mean, I mean, you're from Michigan, it's rats. <laughs> Says the man from Delaware. Damn. Hey, damn. Hey, man, we got no sales tax and a low cost of living. I'm living in California now. I walked into that grocery store and I was tweaking. Anyways, we have a what Snake Eyes Fusion monster now. Do you want to know how it's fusion summoned? As a fusion. fusion summoned. By either using polymerization or by sending two face up monster cards from your spell or trap zone to the graveyard. Oh, great. A hey, fucking snake eyes contact fusion target. What yep, level and is it? You can only use the effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is special summon, you can target one monster on the field and place it in the owner's spell or trap zone as a continuous spell. So, what level is it? Eight. Okay, thank God. Why? I was praying that it wouldn't be a six. For, uh, Beatrice got banned. Yeah, then we have, then Caesar, we have the Saint Azamina. No, it would be a fiend to be a pyro. I'm shutting up. Go ahead. Now we have Saint Azamina, the level 10 Dark Illusion Fusion Effect Monster. Zero attack points, 4,000 defense points. Ah, the classic illusion trope. Punch me, no damage, Lamau. You can only you, it's a level six higher higher fusion monster and a level six or higher synchro monster. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. The opponent cannot target this card, cards they control, or cards in their graveyard, and banishment with card effects. Also, any battle damage you would take, have taken instead. They take instead. Hmm. If this card is fusion summon this turn, you can special summon one level 9 or lower as a mean monster from your deck or extra deck. I mean, yeah. Then we have Azamina Unleashing. This card is treated is always treated as a white forest card. You can target use the first or second effects of this card's name eat once per turn. Target cards on the field up to the number of fusion or synchro monsters you monsters that are fiend illusion and spellcaster you control on your graveyard return the hand. If this card is in your grave sent to the graveyard to activate a monster effect, you can set the card. Another cost for the Adele Star in White Forest. Huh. Then we have Kick-Ass Goblin Bikers. Gabonga. Goblin Biker. <laughs> Be Gabonga. Gabonga. You can only use the first and second effect. Also, I saw a deck that is fucking disgusting that uses the Gabonga that I'll meant talk about later. Uh, you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. You can target face-up monsters your point controls up to the number of Goblin Monsters controlled. Attach one and season material from the monster. If you do, attach those targets to this card instead. Suck. Suck. During your opponent's My favorite type of removal. Attack, it's, it's not targeting. 
My my favorite type of removal. Suck. And during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can target monsters as your control point of control, so up to the monster goblin exceeds monsters to control. Detach three materials from your monsters. If you do, send those targets to the graveyard. Nice. Level six exceeds. Okay. That what was that? Felt, that we just that opened felt. a dungeon, bro. Fuck you, someone texted me. No, we have the white texting. forest that's cards. Fucking... That's, that's your, uh, that's your like, message ringtone? Yes. That's sick as fuck. That's, that's Anyways, cool right now for the this white forest being, cards. This, is the, this one's going to be titled The One Where Chara Comes Out of the Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you stub your toe. Damn. Uh, Probably. As Amina Elizette of the White Forest, you can use the first, second, and third effect of this card's name once per turn. You can reveal this card in your hand and special summon one White Forest or Azamina monster from your hand. During your main phase, you can fusion summon one Azamina fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material. If this card is sent to the graveyard as synchro material, you can add a Sinful Spoils card from your deck to your hand. Yeah, seems legit. Sinful Spoils of White Forest. You can use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. If you control a fiend, illusion, or spellcaster, activate one of these effects. Fusion special summon one fiend, fusion, or spell illusion, or spellcaster from hand, or fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material. Second effect: If this card is sent to the graveyard to activate a monster effect, set the card. Yep. <coughs> yep. Seems legit. If you can, and we got play the Dia Bell. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. I, I'm just not saying that from now on. Just yeah, oh, just yeah, just yeah. automatically assume it's a yeah. unless it's, I say it hard once. Uh, if a spell or trap is sent to the graveyard to activate the card effects, send one illusion monster or spell monster cast on monster from your hand deck graveyard or extra deck to the graveyard. Or During extra, the main fine. phase, you can banish three spell traps from your graveyard, including this card, special summon one Diabell monster from your hand or graveyard. Nice. Like the Diabell. Another quick play. If a spell or trap is sent to the graveyard by a card effect from your hand or graveyard, it cannot be activated this turn. Oh, wait. If a spell or trap is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, set a spell or trap from your hand or graveyard, but it cannot be activated this turn. Hmm. During your main phase, you can manage three spell or traps from your graveyard, including this card. You can in special spell one Diabell monster from your hand or grave. Sinful Spoils Awakening. You can only uh, once per turn. If you control a level higher five, level high, five or higher illusion monster, and your opponent controls three or more monsters, target up to three cards they control and return them to hand. You control a five and same requirement for the other one, but in this case, the card being in the graveyard, you can set the card from the graveyard. Seems legit. Let's else see what else we got. Oh, there's Atlantean support. I don't really care about that. Yeah. More. Um, more. You got Jet Shard. More! You can only hmm. use the first, second or third effect of this card once per turn. The second effect being, during your main phase, you can send a fish, shark, monster, or exceed spell drop from your deck to the graveyard. Fish. Three. Number, effect number three, you can banish this card from your graveyard, add one Aqua Jet from your deck or graveyard to your hand. And then the first effect. If a yeah. water exceeds monsters on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. If it's summoned this way, you can add special summon Jet Shark for the rest of the turn. Pretty solid. Alright. Also, there's a Six Samurai Trap that got revealed. Yeah. Yeah, more six samurai support. That's it for uh, OCG releases that are coming. Interesting. All right. Is there is there any uh, other pertinent news in other formats that you want to talk about, Char? White Forest is in TCG right now. Is it? White Forest? No, it's in TCG. It actually got a top in the YCS. See, I didn't know it got a no. top. It's been in the no, TCG. It got a top in a regional, I mean. No shit. And the uh, deck was White Forest, Centurion, Fiendsmith. Ah, 
Yeah, I was going to say, like, yeah. Centurion White Forest is, like, how you play it nowadays, just White Forest in general. And then you said Fiendsmith, and I'm just like, the surprise factor is gone. I mean, all they have is Desiree. It's not like they can set up any crazy shit with Black Goats and Beatrice. I mean, true. I'm going to use that card on so your It's really not surprising anymore. Mm -hmm. but, what, this this QCR branded fusion? Yes. Damn. Just shut the branded. fuck up. Give it the fear treatment. Um. Okay, you want to hear something funny? I was playing against Branded and Master Duel. Uh, it's when I was try learning Ritual Beast. And I, mm -hmm. I activated D-Shifter. Then they activated yeah. Branded Fusion. Yeah. And then they scooped because they banished the ban Branded Fusion. <laughs> Why? We, we have ways to get back Branded Fusion from the banish. He's throwing. He wasn't smart enough. Because <laughs> I negated that. He tried to get it back. Then I negated it. Oh, you negated the kit? Okay, that, 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 that is another ball of wax. Hmm. Yeah, if, oh, if, if you negate the kit, then like, hey, props props to you. You actually know the cardboard better than he does. Yeah. I, I just say, thought he could get back his kit and like, no. I will say my games no, I, recently on Master Duel have literally just been. Am I going seconds? No. All right, bet. Let me get something. Let me get like some things. Let me get like things squared away. Let me set some call by the grapes to do that. Am I going second? Yes. Uh, do I have enough? Points of interaction to get through all their hand trap bullshit? No. Scoop. Yes, I win. Seems legit. So, I just want to mention, um, I already told this to Evan, but have you guys considered some going first field spells you could run in your uh, Tenpai decks? Possibly. Uh, I, I sure mean, haven't. I've, I've actually been thinking about possibly throwing in an in in AFD engine so i yeah know, so you throw an afd and uh you add some of the floodgate field spells not necro valley summon breaker valley break village of uh spellcasters oh let me enlighten you you summon three times your turn ends pretty funny it is which now that i think about it like you can you can like and this is during the main phase only, right? Or the entire turn? During the main phase. So, unironically... So it doesn't stop, sta so it doesn't stop Tenpai from popping up. Yeah, Tenpai doesn't give a fuck. Right, 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 right. That's very funny. I liked it a lot. I'm actually, I'm actually considering that. I'm, that's actually not a bad idea. Like, throw a uh, 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 summon barrier in there. Throw in an AFD package, maybe get a rev, maybe like think about possibly a rev synchron, maybe I don't know. I don't know, it'd be interesting. His options, I think. Ultimately, Remember, you get dragon locked. That's true, you do get dragon locked. Um, but yeah, I think it's cool. Um, I, th I think you know, I like Necro Valley, I think is, is a fine and dandy good spell, but. You know, it hurts you a little. It hurts you a little bit. Now it's time for that part of the podcast that is now a surprise as me pulling a ten pack of fucking cards in Master Duel. All right, fuck it. Uh, while I set that, uh, yeah, but while I set that up, uh, Evan, yes, start your spicy duels of the week. Mm -hmm. All right, so the spicy duels of the week for me are probably going to have to come. From Duel Links, because I played more Duel Links than I did Master Duel. And we're skipping him. Anyone? All right, Nerlis. Damn. Um, I sadly do not have any uh, very notable duels, but I did have a you very funny me. duel against Tenpai, where uh, they just forgot to activate the field spell that they definitely had in hand before I just droplitted their entire field. Are you and sure they had in their hands? Yeah, no, because I, I talented them, and they had double field spell in hand. And I'm just like, well, I guess I lose. Uh, the <laughs> fuck? And uh, chat, right, that is what I call throwing for content. I'll pull, a, I'll, I'll pull up, I'll pull up the other lady. Please, from here. Did I win any replays today now that I think about it? And by, did I say 10 pack? I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, 50 10 packs. 50 10 packs. Oh, here we oh, go. 5 10 packs, I mean. Yeah, 5 10 packs. You know what I mean. 50 packs total. 
Is this fucking Centurion Sword Soul? I'm gonna have an aneurysm. Uh, let's hope you pull some bangers, Chara. Finger cross. Alright, am I the center of attention? You sure are. Yes. I'm and for luck, we're gonna go through each pack first. For the first 10 pack. Well, I got you. Chara! Do you not need it? Need any more of her? What's up? Do you not need any more Laras? I already have a playset. I see. Yo, Cyber Dragon support. Neat. Hey, look. Another one for mm -hmm. on Tempai. I mean, yeah, it's it, 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 it's a seven. It's a time card, Lamal. Hmm. Oh, we had Utopia Zero show up. It must be good. But what if it was just a useless SR? I mean, you're I mean, right. it's, but it's... royal, damn it! We wish it was royal. Ass. Doo doo. Ass. Ooh, shiny Decatron. Ooh, double shiny Ooh, Decatron. shiny Decatrons. I kind I like of shiny might... Decatrons. I unironically might build in Perdon, because I saw the list he sent into our boot chat. It's and... Belt. and it's cheap. And worthless. Cool looking card, but worthless. Clue Belt's not worthless. That's another option besides Trident Dragon. There's another Pit Knight card? That's an art yeah. type? It's like a series. I think it's just early in this one. That's a fucking shame that this guy's uh, a normal when he's a, such a great extender for Ritual Beast. What the fuck is crawling up my arm? Well. Alright. We got... Yay. Goblin biker. Yay. Goblin biker. Oh, I have to talk about that fucking Goblin Biker deck I saw the other day. You sure do. Sure. Yeah. Let me, let, let's get through the replay section and then uh, we will. Yeah. Oh, that's a Yay. I already have three or four of those now. That's free dust. Damn. Damn. Neck. Damn it! If that was a royal Laura, I'd be fine. What three URs in 110 pull? That's not three bad. Three ain't too shabby. All right, now oh. for this fast fast pulls. All right, speed, pull. speed, 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 speed. Go the fast. Transcending Eel. Driggy and Lamel. That's fine. You. And all dust. All dust. But having dust isn't necessarily. Ah, more kind of. More dust. Ah, more Kaiman. You know, maybe they want you to play. This is only one. Actually, this is the only one I have not pulled a single one of these yet, and that's what I need for my Inferno deck. And didn't it's you, crazy how you were like, yeah, yeah, no. Charlie was the one that said that he was gonna that that, that link to is gonna be the worthless U R that nobody fucking cares about. Apparently, it's good Infernoids. Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> Yeah, this is a this this is an L here. So I'm gonna share. All my, right, kind of uh, dust all the useless shit. Yeah, uh, I'm going to share. Uh, I'm gonna share my screen if that's all right. Yep. You, you gotta stop. You have to stop sharing, Char. Otherwise, I can't stream. Thank you. So speaking, of... Right, he just keeps going. Just like sounds like a personal problem. So, uh, the replay I have is from Chara here and I. We were playing before uh, the round game. Chara, it's, it is less about what I pull and more about what Chara, how Chara goes through. 
So I'm playing dirt. You know, Pellerino left. I'm probably going to cut the tier element aspect of the deck out of it entirely. Um, what was it? It was but... Dia Bellstar invoked. Uh, what was the R? Re uh, Revolution Synchron Theory. Oh, Revolution Synchron and Therians. Okay. The so, fact I have seven Sangin Kaimans right now. Seven Kaiman Lamel. Seven, wow. Uh, so let's take a quick stock at the hand, I'm right? Thinking. My my hand is a two Therians, including the one you want, Regulus, tuning, invoked, TTT. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm solid. Let's fucking go. Well, we'll Shifter see and happens. draw. Oh, no, you're not going to shift him and draw. I gave, him hope. I gave him hope. And Shifter then Max C. Lamal. I was so upset. Yeah, Shifter Maxi is disgusting. Yeah. Hmm. Thank you. Droplet. Vanilla Droplet is very funny. Yeah, I TTT and decide I'm not going to be able to do fuck all this turn, so I decide to gimp his hand. I got rid of the green gen pie. Do, do, do you top deck Pydra? Oh, no, you can top deck by. All right. Which was very funny to me. I draw, I get a tier elements cascade. That was the part I replaced Sheer and Web. It, it, not a big fall on my part, it's whatever. Um, I decide to uh, use the Rev Synchron to go on Home Mirage, get the Rev Synchron in Grave, get from Dragos. I honest to God thought he was going to call by the fucking Rev Synchron, but he didn't, so whatever. That was dealing with a smoke alarm, remember? Yeah, it's true. Uh, Secure Gardener. Attack once, attack twice with Rig and Rig, and Chara is desperate here. Pour some gas. Let's see what he puts. Because I actually don't know what he should. Did you top deck something ass? Oh no, Hydra. that's that's pretty good. Yeah, but yeah, regular field. That's yeah, true. Regular, which is which I have an Omni on field, so he has the cold bite. Desperately trying to bait out my regulars. I don't take the bait because I know it's playing 10 5. He heavy swords. I don't give a shit because I have a fairy on in hand. And then he goes to end phase. Although I'm curious as to why you didn't, you know, still try to do uh, Pyjra. Dead roll regardless. You know, doesn't Reg does Regulus not send for cost for its negate? It does. But he would. Yeah, what, so why? Would, like, well, he didn't know. Right, because there's no way he would have known I had a theory on it. Can you send any theory in? I thought it had to be face up on your field. It can be, it can be That's very cringe. on your field or in your hand. So That's very as, cringe. So I still don't know why you did, Char, because like you were operating with the knowledge you were operating on, I would have had to send theory regulars for cost. I know you're playing dirt. Yeah, fair enough. Anyways, I top deck uh, Barry and Pot of Greed, and uh, I draw a, a Magical Bow Bow, and at this point, it's a wrap. Summon inv also the Invoker, Invocation, Invocation using the Garden and the Alistair, get an Invoke Mechaba. I decide not to stand further, because that would be cool, and attack him with Mechaba for me. Seems legit. I'm six URs away from making a burn and I'm kind of tempted to just command so dead by for it. No. I mean, you got a lot of UR dust from that. Yeah, and I still don't have enough. That's a that deep wheel. Anywho, is there anything that anybody else wants to address before we move on to Digi segment? Uh, or my thing, remember? Ah, uh, yes, go ahead. So, essentially, it's a rank three engine. That starts with Ken and Gen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, favorite. Yippee, my boys. If you want and... to pull up a deck list for as a visual aid, be more than welcome to. Because that gives away the spoiler, though. Fair enough. Uh oh. And you know what that ends up leading on to? What? That, that uh, lit. Some FTK bullshit? No. I'd rather it be an FTK. All right, so what's it get you into? So what's a nice level? What's a nice rank three XCs? Uh, Zen Mades. Dante. Wrong. Wrong. Uh, is Zed the MX Saber invoke. What? True. He is using it in this deck. What? Mm -hmm. 
So it's not Fuck. in the 80s. It's not. It's, it's, it's not Dante. It's not. It's who? Dante. Zexal era. Zexal who? Era. Zexal era. Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal era. Anime. Oh, it's from the Zexal era. Yes. I'm very slow. It's what? Okay. Rank 3 from it's Zexal okay. era is even it's, it's worth okay. summoning in this day. It's Ask okay, Nair, let's be You motherfucker. Oh my god. And he used Geonator Transversia to put it on their field. And because you can swap because Gen or Ken is on their side. And then you just give them acid golem. You disgust me. Hmm. That's and really... you know what's nice about the goblin bikers? What? They can detach monsters from either side of the field. <laughs> That's so you so get rid of their, their material me. faster, so they start taking damage faster. I hate it here. There's also the side effect of not being able to special summon monsters. Oh my god, we have a new fucking puppet lock. Oh man. I mean, it's a puppet lock that, does, that has 3,000 attack and defense. Yeah, it seems legit. Right. But it can't attack if it has no material, which the Goblin Bikers right. like, suck out of you. Behold, Chad, as a good PTSD to every Duel Links player in modern day. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Book of Eclipse. Book of Eclipse. That is all. Besides, I don't really like fucking running uh super meta yeah like I, I, like, I, I, I lately like, like guys the first decks i went for was fucking ritual beast and i have somehow pulled all of tempai trying to get <clears throat> ritual beast yeah for for me but i'm personally kind of the same, i still don't understand i'm kind of the same way like if it's if it's like a tier zero meta thing like snake eyes um, I'll make it just so I can like actually. You no, know what I'm gonna just kind of this uh, decon. I'm gonna just con my trap tricks deck. I have plant link. Yeah, Real. that makes sense. Yeah, that tracks. Um, for me, I I don't know. It's like I like playing just off of it. I like playing some the strategy I that's like fun. I feel like my plant link deck. Huh? Is it just I... my plant link deck? Yeah, I don't know. I I I, I played plant link before. I didn't play it with the with the Ragnarok, but. Right, right, right. Uh, it makes it so much easier. And by easier, I mean it just gives you another extender. It's still super good as is. This makes the I mean, deck they, better. I mean, they have planned access code, too. And, you know, the Riker stuff is stupid. Honestly, the right, all you need is just Skeletal Soldier and three seeds and a bloom. And a beetle. Mm -hmm. Do this. Anyways, Digi, would you like to do your segment now, friend? Yes, indeed. The time has come. Yeah, let me make sure. Let me let, me, let, me, let me make sure real quick. My face is invisible, or unvisible, or d d not being able to be seen by the camera. It's not visible. Works. Okay, and boink. All right, you guys. Today we got ourselves oh, he's the twenty-fifth anniversary tin. SP I always rage, closed, dude. All right, so let's see what kind of highlights we've got from this pack right here. Let's see, we got ooh multiple highlights. Hold on a second. Let's see, one, two, yeah, like what, three, three four, ultras, a prismat five, secret, and a QCR, something like that. Five total highlights. Oh boy, let's see. Ooh, I got a shiny transaction right. Roblox. Okay. Let's go ahead and move these to the side real quick while we get the highlights. Our first one is a trap card by the name of Contain. Rescue Ace. Actually, hold on. Let me adjust is that rescue this ace? a little bit. Yeah, it's uh, one of the Rescue Ace traps. Hot shit. Mm -hmm. Wait, what is it? Uh, contain. Ah, yes. Contain, you're horny. <laughs> yes, contain, you're horny indeed. And the next highlight, we've got Vanquish Soul Heavy Borger. Borger! Borger. Shit card. It's so bad, but god, I love it. Fuck, I, I wish uh, VS Soul was the, the, fight, the fighting game art shape was better. Same. Oh, now it's yeah. just, did you draw Shifter? 
<laughs> Did you draw shifter? Oh boy. All right, let's see. Goodness gracious, this one is super sparkly. I can barely read the name. Here. That is a quarter century secret rare, the Phantom Knights of Silent Boots. Ooh. That money. Also, you can tell it's a quarter century secret rare because the whole card is foily, and if you like look at it just the right way under a light, you can see like a little 25th anniversary stamp like in the bottom center. Oh, of, like, I got one of those in Legacy of Destruction. What? Yeah. yeah. What? Except it was a XCs. All right, uh, let's see. Audit. Wait, right. hold up. Transaction rollback that shit. What fucking QCR was it? I don't remember. I I I have to get my box, but my box is all the way over on the other side of my room. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. I I'm gonna. The only XCs that was a QCR in this set is fucking Verudris. Was it Verudris I got? Did, did you pull a QCR Verudris? Because if you did, that's like think? 80 bucks, my guy. Should should I get my Okay, box we'll, 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 we'll just finish finish the tin. We'll check that yeah, out. I'll finish I'll, I'll finish <laughs> the tin and then the I'll and then I'll get and then I'll get the box. Okay. The next one is Rescue Ace Fire Engine. Nice. More Rescue Ace, except that one's kind of shit. Goodness gracious. And the final highlight of pack number one is Starring Night. Nice. All right. Pretty decent haul so far. Move this over here on to pack number two. Let's see. How many highlights do we have? Do we all do we also have five in this one? One, two, three, four, five. We do also have five. Okay, come on, come on. I don't want to smack you. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so first highlight of pack number two is the firewall phantom. Firewall support. Mm-hmm. And Although the next Guardian one, and the next one is Ice Jade Ran Algreen. Uh, I, I actually have no clue how to pronounce it, but a uh, good let extender for Ice Barrier. That's all you gotta know. Wait, let me see it. Is that Adrian? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's Adrian. just a free level ten. Yep, free level mm -hmm. ten synchro. Okay, and let's see. The next one is ooh. The right leg of the Forbidden One. It's only a leg. What the fuck? And, it, and it's the Lloyd foily pick. one with the 25th anniversary thing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a key. You, you pull the QCR leg. Would have been funnier if it was nice. an arm. Oh, yeah. And the next one is Diabolantis, the Menacing <laughs> Mantis. You! Oh, that's a nice one. Is it? It's good. Isn't that the it eighty dollars card? It's that eighty dollars. Diabolantis. I thought that she was like a common. You know, that's like it, I, that is like twenty cents. Do not get my boy's hopes up. I, I thought yeah, you said don't that. Get that my I hopes thought, up. What, what, wait, what was the card that was eighty dollars? Uh, the uh, Verudris, the final bringer of end yeah, times. Yeah, Verudris. Okay. So the last highlight of pack number two is Labyrinth Heavy Tank. <laughs> gate Guardian. Nice. Gaslight Gatekeep Gate Guardian. Okay. And now on to the final pack. It's kind of dumb that it only came with three packs instead of the usual four, but I guess the more highlights you get, it, yeah, because these the, the megatons, the rarities are always like consistent. Like you're guaranteed to get three ultras, a prismat secret, and a QCR. Two, three, four, five, and boom! All, All right, right, praying for the Here SP little knight. Praying for the SP little knight. All right. So the first highlight we've got is the Unchained Soul of Shiyama. Shiyama is one of the Unchained Souls of all time. So, hey, right. that was a dub. That's good, that's good. 
The next one is Gold Pride. Better luck next time. I guess that's the Prismat slot. Is it? I don't know. Is, is it like kind of like like shiny and like and like a this kind of pattern? Or it's like plus. I guess. Yeah, then that's the that's the Prismat secret rare slot. A little saddened, but it is what it is, I okay. guess. All right. All right. The third so no highlight. First movement solo. We can see our first movement solo. I think that's actually worth something. Because, uh, you know, Melodious is actually worthwhile. I may have lied right to your face. Uh, it's like 60 cents. God damn it. I apologize. You're getting my hopes up, man. You're really oh. letting the oxygen out of my tanks. <laughs> Okay, anyways. Fourth highlight, we've got Evaltile Folis. <laughs> See, that cool. is a card I am unfamiliar with. The Evo Tiles like, are part of the Evo stores? No, Evo Tiles, um, they were, uh, I think they are part of the Evo stores. Evo Light. Evo I see. Light. It's like its own thing. Oh, and that's very the funny. Final... And the final highlight we've got is Melfi Penny. Melfi! He's just a little dude! I put this one on the same scale as Karibo. Because I'm pretty sure it is on the same scale as Karibo. Probably. Anyways! I better get my other box with my Legacy of Destruction cards so we can see if I pulled that Verudris you were talking about. If, if you did pull a QCR Verudris and just nobody told me or nobody else in general was informed. Um, what the fuck? All right. Give me like 20 seconds. All right. Uh, in the meantime, uh, lo and behold, gameplay you got is this your uh thing this is uh th this is me and shara oh i see oh, okay so if that's if that's what uh, you are this up to this point, then uh i'll uh sign off for the evening ladies oh, you should watch ladies. it Evan. look at this ass board i made all right Rue, uh, go. battle phase we got oh, the wait, box. hold on hold on all the cards. hold on it's um really uh and... yep Digi is still doing your segment, I think. Yep. I was just uh I finished all the highlights. I'm thing. just trying to see if I pulled the Verudris. Okay. Well in that uh, case, I'm gonna sign us off. Uh clear comms, please. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for listening to this episode of Lindsay Festival Roundtable. I appreciate you your time and listening. You can find everybody's links to their Twitch and YouTube channel down below. Thank y'all so much for watching. We will see you guys next time. See ya. See ya. See ya. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ass, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.